the state of Israel, our beloved state of Israel, is in the hands of racist, supremacist, violent, fanatical, messianic people. These people are dangerous. They are violent. They are warmongers. And they are controlling the state. We, American Jews, are the outsiders, like Hovav ben Reuel. We were supposed to see things from a distance that the insiders, our brothers and sisters in Israel, either did not see or did not want to see. We were supposed to see. We saw, but we said nothing. On the contrary, sometimes we held our noses and continued to voice our total and unconditional support. We failed. Our major Jewish organizations failed. APAC, the ABL, AJC, the Conference of Presidents, the Federations, and on and on. We failed. We didn't want to appear to be disloyal. It was forbidden to be critical, to say anything negative about Israel, even when we clearly saw it was about to fall into a precipice. And the Talmud in Masechet Yevamot says, Shtika kehoda adame. Silence is consent. We consented. Even more so, we were complicit. In the name of what? In the name of loyalty. In the name of unity. We're one. We can't dissent. We're one people. We have to stay together. But we, we have a lot of skin in the game. Because we're connected to Israel. And because our brothers and sisters in Israel and us are connected to Torah and to Judaism, and it affects us all what's happening there. We have a lot of skin in the game. And yet, we chose to stay silent. It may be already too late. Who knows? But just in case, maybe it's time we start speaking up. Shabbat Shalom. This is a human being first and a Jew second, but I thought it was important as a Jew to say to people in the outside world, Gaza is not some faraway land that is too scary for you to contemplate. When I got out there, I heard from so many Jews, didn't you feel unsafe there? Didn't you feel like you were going to be killed? I didn't feel that. Seeing what has happened to Gaza since October 7 has been heartbreaking, honestly. And I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed because it's being done in my name. Vast neighbourhoods have been obliterated. What's happening now in Gaza is the most extreme event that's ever happened to Palestinians in their history. And I do not think we're ever going to rely, at least in the foreseeable future, in Western governments to change that reality. They have supported what's going on, including here in Australia. Thousands and thousands of messages. People saying, thank you for speaking out. Jewish people saying, thank God there's a voice that is against what Israel is doing. I think it's important that Jews or non-Jews are really challenged on what they're backing, whether it's in Gaza or the West Bank or wherever it is. This is being done in our name. Thank you.